Welcome to the QuickBase Junkie blog. Have you seen the new Kanban reports? They are awesome. Now, if you've already started using them, you're probably wondering why they don't quite have all the features you'd like them to have. Well, I'm sure QuickBase is working on that, but until then, I've got some hacks to help get you started. Now, to check out all these details, head over to quickbasejunkie.com blog. We'll start with hack number one. Kanban hack number one. Hack number one is including a field label. Now, I'm not sure why, but the Kanban cards don't include a field label. So if you've got something like the record ID, or in this case, task ID, showing on the card, all you're going to see is a number, and your users may not necessarily know what that number means. Well, we can easily solve that by including the calculated column using the task ID and text combined with the field ID itself. Alternatively, you can also set up a new field that would combine the label with the ID. Kanban hack number two. Hack number two is what do you do when you need more than three fields? For hack number two, QuickBase only allows you to use three fields to be added to those Kanban cards. Now, you can use an approach similar to hack number one, which is to use the calculated column, but I found that the best way to use multiple fields all combined in one is to use the rich text formula field. Now, the reason for this is because you can use some limited HTML and the break, the um, row break, is really what's going to give you those fields on separate rows. Take a look at hack number two if you need to add more fields to your Kanban cards. Kanban hack number three. Hack number three is hiding items that are completed or canceled. As your projects, leads, work orders, finish or terminate, you can end up with a lot of cards piling up in those terminating categories like closed, canceled, or completed. To avoid this, you'll want to go ahead and include that group on your Kanban, but set a filter to make sure that when the status is equal to one of those terminating statuses, that it's not shown on the report. Kanban hack number four. Hack number four is what to do when you have more than 10 groups. Now the first option is just don't do it. More than 10 columns or groups on your Kanban report will become unwieldy. Really, anything over six columns can get a little bit hectic. Now, more than likely, if you've got 10 plus groups, you might actually have a combination of phases and status. So if you have things like design ready, design in progress, design complete, what you really have there is not three different phases, but one phase and three different statuses. So take a critical eye to the way that you've set up your uh, phases or the groups that you want to use for your Kanban reports, and you might realize that you actually need to do some redesign to break that into two separate fields, one for phase and another for status. The next option, if you don't want to redesign your quick base, is break it into two different reports. If you absolutely have to have more than 10, you put five on one, five on another, and more than likely those cards aren't going to be jumping from status to status, you know, in, in across multiple statuses at once. And if you need to, you can do a little bit of overlap between the two different reports. Now, of course, that means navigating between two different reports in order to see the big picture. So that leads us to option number three. Option number three is to go ahead and break it into those two different reports, but then with your parent table of those records, create one if you don't have one and assign them all to one record, you can then see them on the parent table's forms. So you can add both reports onto one form and be able to manage all of your Kanban cards that way. Kanban hack number five. Hack number five is to use related fields for your groups. Today, as of this recording, 
QuickBase does not allow you to use a related field, a lookup field, for your Kanban report groups. And this can be troublesome, especially if you've set up fields specifically to use a relationship related to your phases. So there is a way to work around this. It's a little bit tricky, but it's possible. So the idea here is you essentially create a faux related field using a multiple choice field where the options are based on the related field you want to use. You go ahead and import all those values so that it matches your related field. And then set up a QuickBase automation that will automatically update your real related field every time your faux related field changes. And then you use that faux related field in your Kanban report. Now I'm not including a lot of instructions here because this is an advanced technique and I only encourage advanced users who are familiar with automations to take on this concept. And always whenever using uh, automations, please, please, please double check everything you're doing in a test environment before your production environment because automations can change massive number of records in an instant with no undo button and you want to make sure you've got that right. Kanban hack number six. Hack number six, we're going to order the card groups. These are the different columns. Now if they're not in an order that you want, you need to go back into the field settings for the field that's driving those groups. And within the, the multiple choice field, you'll go ahead and order those groups in the order you want to see them in and then make sure to set it as either dis to display the choices in the order shown here as opposed to alphabetical. Kanban hack number seven. Hack number seven is to order the cards within the groups. Now initially when this was launched there wasn't an option to sort the cards within the groups and now QuickBase is actually giving us three different options. We can sort using the default field and we can actually edit that specifically for the Kanban reports. We can sort on other fields including multiple fields. And last, we can allow users to order the cards manually and have that be saved along with the report. Now check out the QuickBase Junkie blog at quickbasejunkie.com slash blog for all the details on how to take on each of these ordering of cards within the groups. Kanban hack number eight. Hack number eight is using avatars and icons. Now, if you're familiar with using Jira, uh, in Jira, you've got a user icon that you can show on your Kanban cards. Well, you can hack something similar in QuickBase. Because QuickBase does allow you to use the rich text formula field, you can add in any kind of icon or image that you want. I encourage you to check out my post on how to use icons to draw focus and drive action where I'll walk you through step by step how to add icons, emojis, logos to your quick base and those can easily be put onto your Kanban cards. Kanban hack number nine. Hack number nine is color coding the cards. Now this is a native capability that was already included with the Kanban report. You just scroll down to the bottom of the settings and check color code cards using a formula. Now I've got a great example for you here and I've got more information on using color coding in your reports on the QuickBase Junkie blog over at quickbasejunkie.com slash blog. Kanban hack number 10. Hack number 10 is add and edit records. Now, you may have already noticed this, but as our last hack, it's worth repeating. When you hover over any Kanban card, you'll notice a small pencil icon in the upper right-hand corner. Clicking on that icon will allow you to edit the record. Upon saving, you'll be returned to your Kanban report. And then to add a new record, you can choose which group you want to add, which column you want to add that record to. Click the green plus sign at the top next to the label. There you can add a new record with that group or phase already set. That wraps up 10 Kanban hacks. Don't forget to head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash blog 
to check out all these details, and while you're there, make sure to subscribe. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.